Hey guys, this is Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor here today, and uh, today I've been going through my grandpa's old tackle bag right here. Uh, it's been about a month since I had to say goodbye to uh, my grandpa, who I knew as Papa. And uh, one thing that you know, my grandpa, Papa, and I uh, shared in common was a love for fishing, and uh, I still remember him taking me out fishing on Lake Lanier a lot. He used to live on Lake Lanier, and uh, I remember going out there with him in his boat and catching catfish when I was young, and. Uh, he was always going for, I think he was going for bass or stripers pretty much, but I was always, you know, a little five or eight year old me or however, however old I was, you know, I really enjoyed uh, catching those catfish and that's just one memory I had of Papa. And uh, I also kind of already went through this and I saw one of the lures that was on top of here was um, one of the lures that my grandpa bought when he uh, went fishing with uh, my dad and I last on Lake Lanier. So I thought that was kind of cool. So today I'm just going to be going through pretty much just going through his tackle bag and I think I'll probably have a video in the future of me also fishing with these lures but today I'm just going to kind of go through all the uh, lures and uh, see what all is in here. Alright guys so now uh, I switched the camera angle so you can see up uh, the lures a little bit more up close and uh, first I'm just going to open this thing up which as you can tell my grandpa really liked to fish I mean this is a really big bag so probably have a lot of lures to go through. Alright, so on top, the first thing he had is a very large saltwater lure. Um, honestly, I don't even totally know what this is for, but uh, I think it's just, I'm pretty sure it's saltwater. Alright, yeah, so on the back it says it's offshore bait, so this is uh, some type of saltwater lure. I'm not totally sure what type of fish this would be for, but uh, definitely a very big lure there. Maybe if I ever go out of the ocean sometime, I could that to use. And uh, the first the first box we have right here is uh, some soft plastics. So I'm going to open this up, see what he has in here. Um, all the way to the left it looks like he has some finesse worms, or kind of little ribbon tail worms almost. Just got a tiny little tail on there. Hopefully, oh, sorry my dog just <laughs> interrupted a little. She kind of Okay, she keeps interrupting, but... Alright, so the next thing we have right here is some little uh, zoo butel worms in the lemon pumpkin color. That's gonna, I don't think I've ever heard of this color before. So that's kind of cool. I think it has some you know, a little bit older colors, or a little older lures that have kind of colors I've never heard of. That's kind of cool. So it's just a little lemon pepper. The color's lemon pepper. I've never even heard of that. Uh, or lemon pumpkin, my bad. But uh, there's just a little uh, butel, zoo butel worm right there. All right, this next bag looks like it's some Zoom Finesse Worms. Yeah, he just has them in a separate bag. All right, but this is just a little uh, Zoom Finesse Worm. Looks like it's in the uh, pumpkin color. And a lot of these colors are pretty similar. I think he must have really liked uh, pumpkin and kind of colors like that, which are more natural colors. And he fished Lake Lanier a lot, and uh, that's a really clear water. You know, the lake is very clear, so that's, you know, you pretty much want natural colors for clear water. And uh, he also has a few of these little kind of mini ribbon tail worms with uh, pumpkin and chartreuse tails. And then the next bag right here, uh, this looks pretty cool. I've never, I think these are little flukes. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, just some mini little flukes. That's kind of cool. I don't know what brand this is or whatever, but it's a pretty cool little bait right there. And then under those little flukes, he also has some more of this uh, same type of little kind of finesse worm with a little curly tail at the end. And then in this last little compartment here, he just kind of got some miscellaneous soft plastics. He's got some more of those worms we just saw. Another one of those little flukes. This one's in a different color. That looks kind of cool. And just some other miscellaneous plastics. Alright, that's the first box. Now, the next thing, these two things, as you can tell, look a lot newer. Uh, so these are the two things that I remember one of my last fishing trips I went on with Papa was uh, with my dad and I and my grandpa, Papa, 
And uh, we went on, on Lake Lanier, and I remember him buying these at Hammond's, which is like a uh, just a fishing store, kind of the main fishing tackle store on Lake Lanier. And uh, I remember him buying these there and uh, fishing with them that day. I never make it, made a video that day. I kind of wish I had, but uh, my, I think my grandpa and my dad both outfished me, so maybe I didn't want to make a video, but <laughs> anyway. Alright, so the next box we have right here is pretty big. I think my grandpa used to really like to go after stripers on Lake Lanier, and uh, that's what a lot of this stuff is, which this looks like it's definitely caught some stripers before. Uh, look at that. It's pretty cool. It has, look at all those teeth marks. Definitely, that's caught some big fish before. This looks like it's a cotton cordel, just a big old jerk bait or whatever. You probably troll these. Uh, to catch stripers. He's got another one. Yeah, it looks like he got a newer one. He probably That's probably such a good lure, he got another one of it. Um, then he also has a little bit of a smaller size, which all these are really, I mean, these are all like very big lures, but anyway, there's a, another one of those. And he also has some, some big old hair jig. This probably weighs at least an ounce, probably about an ounce or so. But it's just a big old white hair jig, which those are supposed to be good for stripers. Oh wow, he has another one. Yeah, he really liked this big old uh, cotton cordell like jerk bait thing. Uh, then pretty much in here is just a bunch of other to an assortment of white hair jigs, which are supposed to be good for stripers. And uh, he's just got kind of some different ones right here. He's got one yellow one. This is kind of interesting. It's uh, it has like a blade on it. It's a hair jig with a little blade right there. Kind of an underspin and a hair jig. Kind of a mixture of those. Um, and then, yeah, he also had, I remember him telling me about this. He always told me I should, uh, you know, like get my rigs ready or whatever. Which I think this is a Carolina rig. I, I had never had too much experience with a Carolina rig, but uh, my grandpa always liked to have stuff ready. And he just kind of already, you know, tied the rigs and put them in a little cork like that. And that uh, saved him some time while fishing. Alright, so this next box right here uh, looks like it's mainly terminal tackle. Except, wow, this is a. I've never seen a blade bait so big. I was just watching a. YouTube video of a guy fishing with a blade bait, and uh, this is a pretty big one, but it uh, looks pretty nice right there. And then this box isn't too exciting, but it's pretty much just a bunch of little split shot weights right here. Um, the clip on ones, and you also got some other worm weights right here at uh, various sizes. You got some worm hooks, a lot of swivels, those are kind of handy, and uh, some snap. Snap swivels, uh, some beads, yeah, pretty much just terminal tackle. It's pretty much hooks and weights right here. I don't know what these things are. It's a little, it's a little mini treble hook. I don't know if you can see that. It's a mini treble hook with like a little piece of line on it. I don't really know what that, that's for, but he's got a few of those. And that's pretty much it for that box. Now in this box, uh, this box is a little similar. He's got, uh, this looks more like saltwater type stuff. He's got a lot of these. Wow, this is nice. He has a lot of these. Uh, these diamond weights, which uh, when you're like, I don't know they're called diamond weights. I don't really know what they're called, but uh, they're kind of like triangular. You use these like fishing off the beach. Or they're used for like fishing off the beach or fishing off the pier. So he's got some of those in there. I'm not really much of a saltwater guy. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about, but got some, a few little saltwater rigs right there. So, oh, some snapper rigs is what it says. And some more uh, snap lock swivels. And uh, he's got a fillet knife in here. As, as well as some more, uh, I don't know, snapper rigs or some other saltwater rigs right there that are, you know, ready to go. And he's also got some little red hooks. Should be good for saltwater. And uh, that's pretty much, yeah, so this looks like it's kind of like a saltwater, uh, saltwater box right here.
right, the last box of this bank compartment here. Uh, looks like it's more of a bass box, which is uh, what I love the most. So, first over here, he's got some jig trailers. These are some net bait packet chunks. I recognize these. He's got kind of a darker black and blue, and then more of a natural color right there. And then, uh, speaking of jigs, he also has a little jig right there with a rattle. I don't have I don't have too many jigs with the rattles, but it's probably pretty good. If I fish with the, if I do a video fishing with these lures, I probably might have to use this. And he's also got a uh, spinner bait right here, without the skirt on it, but uh, it can still work pretty well, right? Like like this. Uh, this the skirt probably came off. You probably didn't do that on purpose, but you could also just uh, fish like a paddle tail swim bait on it right there. And, that could work pretty well too. And I uh, just got a little spoon right there. Pretty traditional little spoon. And then he's got some big grubs. These are pretty big. Uh, I, I don't know how long that is, but it's pretty big. Just a like single tailed like chartreuse grub. And then uh, he's got a few spinner baits. This looks like a really nice uh, strike king, strike king spinner bait. Definitely looks really cool right there. Pretty high quality. So yeah, just a little chartreuse and white spinnerbait. You got the same one, but uh, white. This uh, would definitely mimic a shad. And uh, he's got a few little, maybe these are for crappie or panfish. He's got a few little hair jigs, as you can see right there. So a little assortment of those. He's also got this spinnerbait, which looks Kind of unique. It's a little bit more slender. Oh, he's got some line right there. But, uh, it's kind of a more slender presentation right there than a traditional spinnerbait. A uh, couple Colorado blades right there. That looks pretty good. And he's also got a couple other jigs. Uh, these look kind of like more finesse jigs. So just a couple uh, finesse jigs right there, I think. And uh, that's the last of eight box. Let's see if there's anything. I think there's something. Oh, there's another box. So he's got some more soft plastics right here. And it uh, looks like this box has a lot of lizards in it. But uh, first off over here, oh uh, yeah, some more of these flukes. I don't know if this is a like a zoo brand fluke or not, but those look pretty good. Uh, he's got some of those right there. And you also got, yeah, some more of kind of the same ones that we had earlier. You could definitely use these on a drop shot. I think these would be most effective on a drop shot, but this would be another one of my favorite baits if I did a video of fishing with uh, the lures in here. It's definitely a pretty unique uh, color, pretty cool. Now right here, yeah, here's some lizards. I think I remember, I remember him fishing with lizards. I definitely remember him fishing with lizards when I, uh, when he took me out when I was younger, uh, and I just kinda, I just always fished with real worms. I was never confident with uh, artificial lures. And uh, that's what I caught this catfish. So yeah, I think he definitely liked the lizards a lot. He's got some more lizards right here, and uh, that pumpkin color again. Pumpkin must have been his favorite uh, soft plastic color. And uh, yeah, just some more, more lizards right there. And a, very, a little, pretty much a pumpkin color. It's a little bit different. It's got some uh, kind of unique flakes in there. And all the way over here, there's another puppy lizard on top. And yep, more lizards. Yeah, he, really, he must have really liked lizards. And... Alright guys, my camera just died on me, but I was pretty much... Uh, through with going through all these lures anyway. Uh, this is the last box in there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, definitely look out for a video of me fishing with these lures uh, coming up in the future. I mean this is so many lures I could do, you know, a million videos of fishing with these lures and uh, I might do more than one but uh, I'll definitely make at least one so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I appreciate everyone who's been watching my videos. I just hit a thousand subscribers which was uh, definitely a really big milestone and a uh, big accomplishment. And uh, I couldn't do that without all y'all watching, uh, watching these videos. 
So uh, I want to thank you for that, and uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.